Hello Year 5 designers, welcome to the first lesson of our wind and water project. We're going to be making a type of windmill called a pinwheel today and we're going to be making ours out of recycled materials in celebration of the work of William Cam Kawamba who designed the uh, windmill that worked as a turbine to bring power to his village. So what we're going to do is do a bit of recycling. These magazines are amazing. They're free at places like Tesco's and Asda and supermarkets, and they're great. If you haven't got um, like a magazine like this, then you can use cardboard. You'll also need some sort of tape, some scissors, some pins. You'll need a pin and you need some sort of stick to wrap some paper around. And if you haven't got a stick, uh, something like a wooden spoon's great. A uh, bamboo skewer or a pencil if you haven't got one of those and a bit of blue tack or a bit of uh, plasticine. So I'm starting here with my ripped up magazine. I want some floppy paper and I want some of this cardboard paper. And um, this is the sort of thing you get on the front cover. And as I say, you know, when the parents have been to Asda or Tesco's or somewhere and they've read the magazine because it's picked up for free, take it, use it and we're going to recycle with it. So what we're doing is we're making a square here. So we fold the bottom corner up to the side where it touches and then we're slicing off whatever's left and that's going to turn a rectangle into a square. I'm then going to fold that over in the other direction and that's going to help us out later. Um, we are going to now use a piece of the floppy paper. So if you're doing this at home you could use a piece of a uh, cereal packet if you don't have one of these magazines for the actual uh, windmill bit, the bit the square we just cut out and then a bit of paper for this. Now I'm taking my stick and I'm rolling it up and I'm making it into a nice tight little tube and I'm putting lots of tape along there. Um, if you haven't got something like this doweling stick around the house or a piece of bamboo you could do this with, see it's a nice tube. Um, then, as I say, you could use a wooden spoon, uh, some, as long as it's sort of like um, a reasonable size, about the thickness of your finger, and it's perfectly round, it's fine. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that the spoon bit, or rather the spatula bit on this, is hanging over the table. It's not quite as easy because it doesn't, um, it's not as long as the big stick that I had so it's a bit more tricky but you can do it it's not a problem really so just roll it up and put your tape on again okay and there you pull it off and you've got another nice little tube so we're going to have a play with this now the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to make ourselves a little bead we need a bead so that the pin can move freely and it can spin round. So I'm doing the exact same things we did for our tube, but making it much, much smaller. So it's just a tiny bit of paper, which I'm wrapping around this bamboo. If you haven't got a bamboo skewer, you could um, use a pencil, though smaller is better. And you just take that in place. I put a bit of glue on as well. And there's your bead. So we've got all our components now. Let's clear the decks, put things safely. Now we're gonna need our pin, uh, just one. And we're gonna start to put this together. We put a hole in the middle. We can use our piece of blue tack or plasticine so we don't mark the table. That's great. And then we're going to do the corners. We do one corner and we move all the way round. Other corner. And can you see, it's not right on the corner, it's just to the side of it. Okay, and then we can cut all the way in but leaving about about three centimeters if you wanted to measure it but think about it as about half a finger's width now i've just realized i forgot to make something i need a circle out of this cardboard as well so just cut yourself a little square and then cut the edges off and that's perfect we need to put our pin through the middle there which you can do on uh, your plasticine if you want to just poke it through lovely so we've got a pin now in that circle and now we're finding the little holes. We start with one and then you put the next one underneath, find the little hole, put it through, move along, find the little hole, put it through. Can we see how we're getting sails now? 
that's it all the way there we go now we need to stick it through here so we're going to squish the end down and fold it over because we want this to be really secure then we're going to poke the hole can you see i've put the plasticine or blue tack down do you know what a piece of chewing gum would do if that's all you've got then you put on your little bead and then you poke it through the stick and check that it spins round. Now, oh my word, we can't have people playing with, a, with a, a toy that's got a big needle sticking out, a pin. So we get a bit of tape and we fold it over. We make it a bit floppy so that it's actually bigger than the pin. And it just means that when you touch the pin, you're not going to get poked and get a nasty pin prick in your finger. And I just put another bit of tape on for double safety. It stops it falling out, but also protects the person using it. Then you're ready to blow and see if it works. There we go. So everybody, have a go at making your own little windmill and see how you do. And of course, if you're working at home and you haven't got all the materials, this is what the technology people are all about. This is what William was about, finding things to use instead. It's a challenge, but see how you do, my friends. I'll be very impressed to see some photos of windmills made by people at home. Everyone, have fun with the challenge. Bye.